Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to do yoga. Yes, I'm kidding, but I'm trying to do yoga for the last two weeks. And what I can tell you that it is some of the hardest things that I have tried so far. So I want something like a yoga trainer, a trainer who helped me, who see me and tell me, am I doing correctly? And such a yoga trainer who available every time. So that's why I created an artificial intelligence who helps me to do yoga. It predicts what pose I'm making and how well I'm making it in real time. So basically what it does that it predicts where the different parts of the body are present in image and uh, use this data to predict what pose it is. So if I'm making a yoga pose correctly, the skeleton over the body becomes green and time starts counting. So guys, in this video, I will talk about how to create this AI using deep learning and we'll talk about how to use pre-trained TensorFlow movement model to predict the key points or the coordinates of the different parts of the body and training a neural network top of that by using these coordinates to classify a yoga pose. But before that, guys, let's look at a demo of this application. Demo time. So guys this is a web page and uh, I have only coded this for the PCs it will not going to work in the mobiles and uh, so guys let's try yoga and uh, take a look at how it is working so here, here are different poses uh, but we will try one of the easiest ones tree pose so we just need to start pose and it will start capturing it so after 2-3 seconds it will predict the coordinates or key points so guys you can see here it is predicting the key points over my body or you can say over the video so if I make a yoga pose uh, basically tree pose like this it will start counting and sound is also playing here let's see how long I can do and if I will tilt some like this so it will not going to work so let's try different pose. So last I will try triangle pose. So let's see fast how it is going to work. And we need to just to make a triangle. So guys, let's look at how this AI is working and how we can create this. So here I am using TensorFlow pre-trained MoveNet model to predict the key points or the coordinates of the different parts of the body and uh, here it has two weights. One is lightning. Lightning gives better FPS but slightly less accurate than the other variant which is thunder. Thunder gives better accuracy but not fast as lightning. So and uh, lightning takes 192 cross 192 image size as input while thunder takes 256 cross 256 image size. And the output of the both of the model is same which is 17 key points or coordinates the architecture of this application i think they have used mobilenet v2 with a feature parameter network as a feature extractor and the prediction head is basically similar to a center net with some custom post processing you don't i think guys you don't need to know about how this architectures are working and deeply you can directly use the key points or the coordinates but if you guys want to learn how this models are working under the hood so i will leave the link in the description of tensorflow blog so you can read there so guys now we we get that 17 key points what we will do with this what we will do next so we can feed this coordinates into our neural network after applying some pre-processing and make a classification model which classify a yoga pose so let's look at how we can do this so we need to create a data set for classification. Uh, so we, then we can train a neural network on this data. So our model can learn how the different pose looks like, how the tree pose looks like, how the um, chair pose looks like. So it can learn. We can grab some of the different pose images from the internet. Like I have used 50 images for each pose. And then we can estimate the coordinates on these images and save it, save this coordinates into a CSV file with labels and then what we can do, we can use this CSV file and apply some pre-processing because we can't feed these coordinates directly, uh, it will not work because we need a, some kind of feature vector, a feature vector which contains some features in which neural network can learn uh, some kind of patterns, fundamental patterns in each pose, of each pose. 
So how we can create a feature vector? The first approach I had done is finding the center of the body and then finding the distances of all the key points from the center and scale it by dividing by pose size. Pose, we can get the pose size by using by finding the norm of a matrix and um, it went to 90% accuracy but it is not good enough to make a yoga AI trainer, an intelligent yoga AI trainer. So what else we can do? Uh, we, can, uh, we can move the, all the key points to make the pose center as origin. So what will the effect of this? Uh, so like here I'm standing and if I'm making some kind of pose and if I will go there, so the coordinates have changed. The data is very different for even the same class. It is not good. But if I make the pose center as origin, wherever I will go in the image, the coordinates will be the same because it, will calc it, it is calculating the coordinates based on uh, respect to the center. So that's why. So the next thing we need to do is flatten the data means uh, we need to convert the, convert the tensor into one dimensional tensor. So basically we have currently two dimensional tensors, uh, 17 coordinates and uh, each coordinates have x and y. So that's why we need to flatten the data and it will become one dimensional tensor. So the next we need to do is all done. We can use this data and we can feed this into our neural networks. In the network, I'm using input layer of shape 34 because we have input shape of 34. And then we have a dense layers uh, with output size of 128 and using ReLU as an activation function. Then we have dropout layer. So dropout is basically a regularization technique and it prevents from overfitting. Because of this, lots of lots of layers in the hidden layers, therefore there's lots of lots of parameters. So the model is more complex and uh, there's higher chance to get overfit. So what dropout does that, basically it switch off inactivate fraction of neurons by randomly selecting in each hidden layer. So the connection in the hidden layers between neurons will only with active neurons. So the neurons will find another path to, to train. And I have also used the same thing, dense layers and then dropout. In the last layer, which is output layer, I have used softmax function which converts all the data between 0 and 1 which gives a probability so and then after training I got 99% accuracy in the training data and 98% uh, accuracy in test data so it's quite good and uh, we can also uh, improve this by adding more data or we can play with feature vector like we can add the involvement of angles between joints because it is a good feature I think so guys, don't forget to like this video if you like that and uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any queries and anything you want to ask me, I will help you and um, if you want to see more videos uh, about AI, technology, coding, please subscribe this channel and uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in the next tutorial.